Right, hello everybody, Inga Swansman here, welcome to my YouTube channel, most of all, thank you very much for clicking on my video. Now, if you subscribe to my channel already, you know this is my firebox. It's my cheap Amazon £20 firebox. I did a video on it about maybe a week ago now, and it wasn't too bad. But then when I started thinking about it, you know, there were quite a few things that I could change just to make it that little bit more brilliant. So I changed a few bits of it. I'm going to run you through the bits that I've changed and why. And thankfully, Oscar's, Oscar Outdoors, he brought his cell phone and he wants me to modify mine. He's like mine. So I borrowed his to make the quick video. I'll take it to work. I'll sort it out for him to make it a little bit more stronger because they are, they are flimsy people. That's, you know what I mean? That, that is flimsy. And then you've got all the movements you take the, the, the top tray off, but you've got all the movements. You've got the tray inside, but it just moves around and it don't fit too good, whichever way you put it in. Even if it's the right way around. It, there's just so many faults with it. It's like they've made them, you know, cheap as they can to sell them at a good price. Now, that's not a problem. Look. These bus, uh, firebox stoves, they still do the job. You see, if you subscribe to the channel, you see me use my one, it still does the job. It depends on what you want for the money that you pay. £20, it's brilliant. I just modifi modified mine because I just wanted to make it a little bit better for myself, a little bit safer. So first things first, I'm going to show you the top tray, and then we'll make his way down. So you see Oscar's Outdoors? His tray can fall in, and that's built up so it shouldn't be doing that. Just so much movement. Look at the gap there, I can get my thumb. I've got thin fingers, so yeah, let's say, you know. Alright, maybe not a thumb, but look at all the movement there. Let's go to my one. It just doesn't happen. Because what I've done is, if I can remove that peg. What I've done is, you can see here, I've drilled two more holes in the top of the box itself. If I turn Oscar's round, Oscar Outdoors one round, uh, to do, 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 this side, his last hole is there where mine is. I've drilled these two. And you can see here, I've filed down on both sides there. And on my top mesh, I've cut the handle off. It should be two handles on each side. So what I do now is, I push it through the holes. So it comes through there and there. And then it falls into place at the front. Perfect. Just like that. So that makes that top tray almost non collapsible It can't fall out or nothing like that. Right, well, I'll just pause you then because we're now so I'm going off and I didn't want too much noise in the background of video. Yeah, so like I say, let's made it more solid. I've totally forgot where I am now. The other one, it's, it's still got way too much movement, no matter which way you put it. Yeah, that's one thing I adjusted now. Let me know, do you think that's a good idea? Earlier when I said I didn't move the handle, I don't need the handle now. Only when it's cooling down, I can move it. It should be cooled down by the time I move it anyway. So the next thing I adjusted, and get that in just one of holes. I hate getting them in these holes, it's a nightmare. Is the uh, ashtray, or the member capture, or whatever they want to call them. Getting that in and out of there is a nightmare because you can see where it can go off to the sides, you know, like so. And it is a bit of a nightmare to get it to sit on the two shelf things down there. Look how it just collapses as well. What a nightmare. Yeah. So we'll just leave that like that. What I did, turn it round. So my adjustment with that lid just kept it in in the place. Now it's fallen out. Because just that lid alone and the next piece you're gonna see after this makes it more stronger. So the the tray, I've cut it down. I can get this one out. 
put it back to back. Look how much I've cut it down. And what I can do now is use this tray to go through the front entrance all the way to the back. And that, once again, gives it a little bit more strength. It's crazy, but it actually works. It really does. Now, the next thing I've changed, and people will agree with this. When I did a video on this one, people were going on about, let's just see if we can get these back in the right holes. Right, people are on about this, the size of the gaps, you know, all the little bit of embers were falling out, it wasn't holding enough embers there, so you put new wood in for it to burn, but when you put it in anywhere, look at all the movement, way too much movement, no matter which way you put it in, the movement was still bad, it don't make no difference really if you're just going to use it to burn the hell out of it, as a fire, you know, when you're out and about, you're doing a bit of cooking. But if you want it that little bit stronger, this is what I did. I've got to try and get it out now. Let's take this tray out. This is the part that strength, strengths the whole part of the stove up. I put some mesh on top. Stainless heat, so what this does is it don't bend as much with the heat, it reacts well with the heat. But yeah, I think it's three or two stainless maybe, yeah, I think that's what it is. So from that to that. This, when it goes inside, you can see how much bigger it is at each side there and there and there just after this size flat. When I put this in, I made one big, not a big problem, it's something I can solve. When I put that in, push it down, did you have it clicked in place? Because now that goes to the full size of the inside. There's absolutely no movement. So now just that alone, see how the box is stronger? It's just, there's movement. <laughs> Mine moves a little bit, but not as much as the way they did it. And then, when I had the top grill thing, like I said, put it into the holes. Into that hole, that hole. There we go. It fits straight into the slots for it. Now that is absolutely solid. I'll have confidence in, you know, even using this for my daughters in the woods and my, and my lads and just cooking some dinner. I'll have full confidence that I'm not gonna burn us. It's not gonna fall over or nothing. I'm not dissing Oscar Outdoors one because at the end of the day, I'm gonna modify his and I'm gonna make it as strong as mine. Nightmare, get in that slot man. <laughs> See why I had to change it? See why I modified mine? It's absolutely brilliant. Now with that in, I reckon it won't be as greedy to burn either. Still get an airflow, it's still gonna work brilliant. So let me know your thoughts. My thoughts is at the end of the day, what I've done is what I want to do it for. Slight problem is, I think I cut the pegs what go through. Probably a little bit too short. But I can sort that out by getting some more pegs myself and doing it. You know, re replacing them, sorry. But yeah, well, let me know your thoughts about it. It's, I get this video is not for everybody. I know everyone's going to, you know, not like it and think it's a pointless video. But some people wanted to see this. End of day, you know what? It's a firebox. We're going to burn stuff in it. A year or so later, we're going to get rid of it. It's for having a fire, but remember, fire is dangerous and you need it safe. This alone here is a 
it is a problem but not on my one but yeah thanks for watching i hope you like my redesign of it this one here oscar outdoors will be linked to his channel below the very first link is it'll be same as mine and it'll be perfect you can go out and visit and it'll be love you know it'll be sure but not what's going to happen you know it collapsing or all Right, so thanks for watching and I'll see you later on for another video.